Even I'll admit that at the rate Clay is updating this here Maxwell rework, that I am looking like a fool for covering the rapid fire tweaks day in and day out. That said, if I don't keep people up to date, who will? Folks, a fourth hotfix hit late last night, and once more, it is nothing to ignore. Another overhaul to Shadow Duelists, changes to the Shadow spells, and more awaits, so let's not debate whether or not I'm actually milking this thing to death, yes. Besides. Is it really milking the same thing when said thing isn't even close to being the same anymore? Yeah, sure, the base damage of Shadow Duelist remains at 20 per hit with a potential of 30 damage per lunge, but with what comes next, I think we're gonna need an in-game manual to keep track of it all for Pete's sake. The damage scaling of Duelist now rests in tiers, starting with amulets here. All amulets mined, even simple life giving or shield gear will up the damage range of all duelists to 24 to 36 overall, which is already worthy of notes. Because as we move up a tier to shadow gear, we must bear in mind that we will be able to mix, match, and stack everything we please. But as for the baseline of tier 2, however, the new top hat, dark swords, knight armor, and even thule side crap will all have our puppets addition out 28 to 42 damage by their lonesome. Equip two pieces of tier 2 gear, however, to raise that up to 36 to 54 damage instead. And finally, a full set of tier 2 gear, stuff that Maxwell should now be wearing at all times, mind. And we will see the final damage range be 44 to 66 per hit and lunge. Not bad. And it will likely be what most of us see and use moving forward 99% of the time. However, there are still two more tiers to go, like the bone nonsense here. Both the bone helm and the bone armor will see an initial damage range of 32 to 48 individually, but put them together and they will match a full set of tier 2 gear at 44 to 66 damage instead. Like I said, Tier 2 is clearly the new standard, because not only is this set locked behind the Fuel Weaver, the final tier is as well. The Shadow Thurple rounds things out, and we'll see our minions dealing 36 to 54 damage per hit itself, which might seem lackluster considering everything we just mentioned, but it is still our one ticket to the maximum damage available to us at the end of the day. As if we don every piece of Fuel Weaver loot out there, we will have a chance to deal 60 to 90 damage per Shadow Duelist following the day. And hopefully we have some fun doing it too, because not only did Clay go and do all of that, they they also significantly extended the effective range of our dude since we last tested. They will still default to 20 to 30 damage if we stray too far away, but as you can see, we can be quite a ways before that actually happens now. Furthermore, this will impact their attack speeds again too, so the choice to join them in combat for just a wee bit more DPS isn't really up for debate anymore, so you do you. Like I said folks, the game has changed, and we needed to make sure everybody knew that. And it's changed so much, in fact, that our new reworked Maxwell here also has a new downside to boots. If wearing a Magician's Hat or wielding a Shadow Thurple, Greater Gestalts will attack you on sight, dealing massive damage, so be mindful there even if you are not Maxwell Mind. But speaking of the Magician's Hat specifically, it is also no longer a spell if you can believe it. Clay up and made it a simple Maxwell exclusive craft that also just so happens to be available immediately off spawn. And that's a kicker, because with a few silk plus the Nightmare Fuel we already spawn into the game with, we can have a portable storage early, plus a damage boost to our Shadow Duelists. So make notes. And not just just on everything you have seen here either, as there is plenty more to discuss within this very hotfix. They added more tweaks to Shadow Servants, including a very long list of what they will no longer automatically pick up anymore. They moved around a couple crafts actually, added cave banana trees to world regrowth, and more. It's all here, or in the pinned comment if you're interested as always, but there you have it everyone. A fourth, count it a fourth update to the update in under a flippin' week, and we're not even talking about little tweaks either. 
the rework has essentially been reworked three separate times, I feel. So hopefully these videos have kept you all up to date, as they're meant to do so at the end of the day. But thanks for watching, everyone. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.